Christine Taylor. I teach over in the Computer Information Systems Department. I'm an adjunct instructor at um, SUNY Buffalo State. I would describe universal design for learning as being able to tailor what you're teaching to the many needs of students because every student is going to be different. You're not going to have one way of teaching that's going to work for every single person in your classroom. Um, so it's just basically a way of, even though you're only one person and can only do so much, being able to figure out how to take the one thing that you're teaching but present it in a way that multiple people can pick up on and understand and learn from. Um, I don't come from a teaching background, so universal design for learning has been very helpful for me um, because of the fact that when I am teaching, it's really helped me to think strategically about the way that I do things and not just doing something in the classroom for the sake of having a project or an assignment or just to have work for the students there, but to really be very conscious of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how it's helping the students achieve a goal for learning in the classroom. Um, I think universal design for learning has benefited my students in the fact that um, a lot of them will tell me that they really find what I give them practical to use, that they don't feel like they're just doing work for the sake of doing it. Um, I really try to help my students understand why I'm asking them to do things, that there's always a reason for me giving them an assignment or having them do something or a project or working together. So I think when students understand that there's a purpose for what they're doing, they're much more engaged and much more um, effort that they will put forth into it.